Hey y'all, it's Melody with Design by Melody. <clears throat> I wanted to do a what came with video for this 12 by 12 paper pad I got. It's an American Crafts paper pad. It's the Maggie Holmes paper pad. <clears throat> there are 36 single sided pattern papers in here and um, basically there's two of each of these patterns that you see. <clears throat> so I'm going to go through these and show you what came in it. So in case you want to purchase it for yourself, you know what you get. So this is just the cover sheet, and what I did is it came bound and glued. I just um, took all the pages out so they're ready to go whenever I need them. I took off all the glue off the binding um, and then just separated them. So this is the first piece. It's a really pretty floral. You've got the red and the green, but you also have the outline on the background here as well. And a lot of the pages in this set have distressing around the edges. The next one is a black and cream chevron with some red ink splatter, a green and cream pattern. It's got some diamond shapes with some circles and it's kind of a floral pattern. It's a grayish kind of antique looking piece of um, notebook paper uh, or ledger paper either way. And as I mentioned, these are single-sided, so the back is just white. Very pretty pattern with a bunch of different cameras. I like to use these to cut apart and then embellish with. What's that? Um, I think, I guess it's like a bokeh pattern, but it really reminds me of like rain and lights. And you're seeing it kind of on a windshield where it's just not focusing up. That's what it reminds me of. A very pretty cream and yellow floral pattern. I really like this one. This is a, um, a dark, I believe it's a dark blue and aqua polka dot. But as you can see, it's almost like um, denim looking. A pink and cream floral, very pretty, very bright. I don't know if the camera is picking up how bright that is, but it's very pretty. A large doily, cream and aqua doily, with the ink splatter on here. The same colors again in a different floral. Love this page as well. I actually think that's what drew me to it um, because it's one of the boldest patterns on the cover sheet. It's a nice teal aqua chevron. A very pretty wood grain plank paper. Um, these are robins, I believe, birds. A simple basic pattern, cream and yellow tones. A large floral, this reminds me of kind of tropical floral pattern. I like the mix between basic patterns and decorative patterns in here. A ledger paper, cloud paper, and it's got a little bit of a pattern here, and that's actually it. So these are 18 different pages here. You get these, but you also get a second one, exactly the same, and they just come stacked in there, and like I said, I believe they should be in the same order as what they came in. I just tore them apart. So the way I store them, in case you're wondering, I keep all my collection kits in their own little packaging, whether it's in a proper hopper folder or if they came in a Stukadero Calico kit, I keep them in the folder. But these, since they came in a pad of paper, I, tear, I take them apart, make sure I have all the glue off the edges so they're ready to go, and then I just use a binder clip and I put them right in there with my kits. Let's see if I can show you where my kits are. So I'm going to move it just for a moment. Right, where am I at here? Right here are my kits. So you see some Studio Calico kits and behind there are some actual um, Echo Park kits in the little um, plastic envelope things they come in. There's another Studio Calico kit and then this will just be lined up right right in there with it. And it's right beside my um, Smash Journal as well as uh, my scrapbook albums. So I hope that helps y'all. Um, until next time, thanks! Bye!